In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. Now there came a man who was sent from God. His name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. Now he was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, and yet his own did not receive him. But to all who received him, to everyone who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of of God. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testifies concerning Him. He cries out, saying, This was He of whom I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me because He was before me. From the fullness of his grace, we have all received one blessing after another. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but God, the one and only who is at the Father's side, has made him known. Now the next day, John was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. Now when his two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. <laughs> Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you want? Rabbi, they replied, Where are you staying? Come, he said, and you will see. So they went with him and saw where he was staying and spent the day with him. Now Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who heard what John had said. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, We have found the Christ! And he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You shall be called Peter. Now the next day he decided to leave for Galilee. Finding Philip, he said to him, Follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, was from the town of Bethsaida. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one Moses wrote about in the law, and about whom also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nazareth? Can anything good come from there? Nathanael asked. Well, come and see, said Philip. Now when Jesus saw Nathanael approaching, he said, Here is a true Israelite in whom there is nothing false. How do you know me? Nathanael asked. Jesus replied, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Rabbi, Nathanael said, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered, you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You shall see greater things than these. I tell you the truth. You shall see heaven standing open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. 